Lexi? Lexi? It does look good. What are you watching on iPad? She's preoccupied. Can't be. Can't be she's, she's, to, she's in the office. She's in the star right now. She's in the zone. Paint the car. Paint the car? Paint the park. Oh, she's painting the park. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you kids these days with your iPads and everything. <laughs> Steven, what did you have when you were a kid to keep yourself occupied? I remember a lot of boredom as a child. I remember a lot of Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Bob, <laughs> Bob Barker, Logan. and Bob Barker. Bob Barker, Wrestling yeah. Bob Barker. Wrestling. True, true. Yeah. There's a lot of TV. Yeah. But I mean, like, when you went to a restaurant like we are at right now. I do. Yeah. yeah? My mom, she would give me, like, a blank check, basically, right? And then Wait, what? Because <laughs> then she would have no other, like, piece of paper on her. So I'm like, oh, mom, can okay. I have a piece of paper? I see. And she would look in her purse She's like, well, I got it. She has her check check. Well, what, yeah, napkins yeah. are too valuable? Yeah. <laughs> you can't really do it on a napkin, though, because it's not... It's true. There's, it, you have, there's a texture yeah, or whatever, texture. so then, like, it moves and stuff, so then, like... So then after a while, she just learned to like bring a pad of paper for me yeah, and yeah. a pen and I doodle. Uh, I, I read a lot of, I think I read a lot of books as a kid. Like I would, everywhere I, we'd go, like we, I would I would bring like a book. And that was pretty much the only time in in uh, in history, I think, that I read a lot of books. I, did I, books. I just don't, I don't read a lot of anymore. Like not, not I, for I, no, no reason, like not for- I read a lot of books as a kid but not when I not as a means of like when I go out not to occupy myself when yeah. I'm at a restaurant or whatever yeah. it was more like I'd read it at home or I'd read it at my parents restaurant or whatever but not okay. not so much of, as a keep myself occupied at a family this dinner. thing's not even rolling oh, I thought it was already recording no dude come on oh Michael fail Michael fail Again. You just told me to put it over there. <laughs> no tally lights. You fail. You're fired. Michael, ter ter you, you would be the worst production assistant. That's right. Hey, are all the cameras rolling? Yep. Are they really? No. No. <laughs> what? That's why I'm, I'm the on-screen talent. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, 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 that's what I go for. Yeah, clearly. You're clearly technically inept for a guy that's on a tech on a tech show. <laughs> For this holiday season, they have you know people are gonna go to the Apple Store to buy iPads and stuff for their for their friends and whatever. Microsoft has their stores, Samsung has their stores, Sony has their stores. Google is opening some stores, uh, some like showrooms where they want to show off like the Nexus 7 and Chromecast and all that yeah. kind of thing. And I think it's only in like six cities across the state, so LA, New York, Chicago, the usual Big places. Uber. No, not really. But what's it. weird is that you go to these places and you can play with all these new things that Google is offering, but you can't buy them there. That's weird. They're like, oh, you like this? Well, you can order it online well, through the Google Play online, Launcher. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be there before you get home. That's yeah. Strange so then, so then they're opening up like these showrooms in you know Chicago and New York. Have you I'm like, I don't understand that. If you're gonna open it, yeah. have some stock there and have people let. People well, Intel's buy doing it. the same thing. They're doing a technology uh, <laughs> stores across the U.S. I can't remember how many stores, but they're showing off the things that they actually developed. So there's gonna be stuff from Apple, stuff from other PC manufacturers as well too. All the things that they made developed that made these products possible. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like the chocolate factory opening up and showing the Oompa Loompas. Have you guys seen yeah, those crazy uh, Google barges that they're building? Uh, that's San cool. Francisco. Yeah, 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 there's two of them actually. There's uh, there's a second one somewhere else, but I don't I think that's for investors. Aren't those mobile offices? The, they're, no, they're, they're, like, they're, they're gonna be like high-end showrooms to yeah. show like VIP stuff. Yeah. It's like another pro Google Project X thing. I don't yeah. know. They're, they're, Google's becoming more and more of a like the, I, I don't. I want to call them like evil geniuses. <laughs> you know, but like they are geniuses. They're, they're becoming more. And more but there's already a team called Evil Geniuses. They oh, yeah, that name. Team but they're becoming team more and more like like Bond villains every day. No, Mr. Bond. No, I'm not <laughs> expecting to die. Any day, I'm, I expect Sergey Brin to have like a, a laser that cuts into the crotches. A freaking laser beam. A freaking yeah. laser beam. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna have a pool of sharks with freaking lasers. Freaking lasers. And an army of androids. Wait, he already has an army. Yeah. Right. So you guys know how phones are getting bigger and bigger. Like my first Android smartphone was like four inch. I have a Motorola now, it's about 4.7 or so. But they're getting bigger and bigger. And now it's kind of comically large. Unreasonably big. Unreasonably large. With this. This is the Sony Xperia uh, Z Ultra, or Z Ultra, I guess, depending on where you're from. And it's a 6.4 inch screen. So it's almost a tablet because tablets are technically categorized as seven inch and above. It's 6.4 inch, so it's kind of comically large because you can see compared to <laughs> Hold my it up phone, to your head. Like, it's 
we used to make fun of when, when, when we when we did the Galaxy Note as the gadget of the week. We thought that was huge. Yeah. So this is even bit bigger. And this is the first phone that I've used where I actually have to be mindful of where the earpiece is when I'm making a phone call. Because yeah. when I hold it up to my face, it doesn't line look, up. Look how much bigger it is than your hand. Yeah. Like, it just sticks out. It doesn't. The it's earpiece double doesn't, the size of your hand. The earpiece doesn't quite line up with my ear properly. It's like a little bit too high and like in front of my eye instead of in front of my ear. So that's problematic. But like it is as a device, maybe not as a phone. It is a really well built device. It looks really good. It's like this black monolith, super thin, has the the silver button that they're putting on all the Xperia phones now. Uh, it's, I think it's only an eight megapixel camera, so it's not great. And there's no flash, which is not great. Yeah. So that's borrowing a little bit more from the tablet end of the spectrum as opposed to like the smartphone end of the spectrum. But it does still do all the other smartphone things. It has NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LTE, and a 1080p display, quad core processor and all that. So um, playing games and stuff, uh, maybe plant for some it looks really good. Like the screen looks very crisp. And... They they use the various Sony technologies. There's the mobile Bravia or something, and the tri luminous display and stuff like that. So the display looks pretty good. Like all kinds of buzzwords that uh, that don't yeah. really mean anything. Yeah. The viewing angles aren't great. So if you look at the screen like from an angle, it does. It's not as great as some other phones might be. But realistically, you're gonna be looking straight at your phone anyway, right? So it's not a big deal. Um, I've been using it for a while and watching videos, playing games, browsing the web, that kind of thing is great. As a phone, as we said with the Galaxy <laughs> Note and all that, maybe not so much, but they might have gone a little bit too far with 6.4 What is What is the only way to use this as a phone that's not embarrassing? Bluetooth headset. I said not embarrassing. Oh, um, um, one of those little speaker phone. Appendage phones. Appendage, phones. <laughs> Appendage phone? Yeah. What the? Or a speaker phone. Mm, yeah. Or well, not. You hold that to your, up to your head. Or not a phone, right? But like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh one, one feature that, that I didn't show with that, that that was kind of cool that they borrowed from their tablet and is what they call small apps. So I can bring up like a mini calculator and that floats on top of whatever you're doing. And uh, with Sony, with certain Sony tablets, you can only pull up one. But here I can actually pull up more than one thing. So I think that one's the browser. Yeah, so like, that's a browser window and the calculator laid on top of what was mm -hmm. I was working on before. That's a pretty cool feature. And that makes use of the space. And it's resizable. On your resize. Yeah. yeah. So like that's useful. So then like if you're multitasking something or you want to take a note of a web page where you're browsing, you want to jot down something. That's a great way of being able to do it. Uh, Sony Xperia Z Ultra. I think it's available through Bell. I mean, you have to double check with that. And pricing's comparable to other smartphones. So you're looking at about two hundred dollars on contract, give or take. Mm -hmm. And I'll have the full review up on megatechnews.com shortly. There's already uh, an unboxing video and a quick, a quick feature overview thing that I did on my YouTube channel too. And that's the gadget of the week.